Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Catch. Um, I was just working on some of the pages for the sewing journal, and I know I said I would do this, um, you know, kind of like step by step or whatever, but I did these two, and I'm going to show you now on this one, just so you didn't have to watch me do um, all three of them. So, you'll notice on this page here, you can see how when you stack your pages together in your signature, because you're just folding pieces of paper in half, and tucking them inside of each other they start to spill out here and you can't get them you know any tighter than that you know I'll even do this kind of thing and they're still sticking out so these ones you can see I've cut even so when you hold it like that so you're not seeing all that extra stuff sticking out so you just got to trim them down and and you don't have to it's personal preference like I didn't always do that because um I used to put a little bit less pages in, and then by the time you sew them in, sometimes that kind of tightens them up enough that you don't, it's not as obvious as this. So it's just all, if you like them looking uneven, you know, like within the book, um, then you don't have to do this at all. But I kind of wanted these all to be even, so I am going to um, cut them. So what I usually do is I kind of figure out where it starts to do that, and see this one's Kind of where it starts. Take that one out too. Oops. And this one. Yeah. So these go on here. But my cutter won't cut quite that many. So I try to do like, I don't know, six or so at a time, just rough, roughly. And so I'm going to put them in my cutter. And I figured out by doing the last ones that I need to go. Um, my pages are like five and a half roughly, but you can even see how this is sticking out beyond that. So I am going to scoot it in just like one little tick more, and that's where I'm going to cut it. And I know that that is quite a bit more, but by the time you uh, get them all stacked in together, sorry, this one's kind of being a bugger, uh, it just, it works out better just to take that little bit extra. So um, it's like, what is that? Sorry, I'm trying to see. Five and three eighths, is that what that would be? So that's what I'm cutting it out. And so this is all that's getting cut off. And it kind of does seem like a lot, but um, it just is the only way to get them to stack up nicely together. So that's the way I do it. There may be other people that do it differently than I do. And then, oh, what am I doing? Um, like this one, I'm gonna go not quite to the three eighths spot. I'm gonna go just like between the two ticks and take that off. I didn't wanna go through those, that was a lot. So then this one goes over this one. Got lots of pretty colored pages. I dyed a bunch of pages. The other day and it's still sticking over so we're gonna take a little bit more off of this one and you just gotta kind of play with it and just take a tiny tiny bit because you can always take a little bit more off but you can't add more back on so yeah that's the trick there so now see I'm nice and even <clears throat> And then nice and even again. So that's just um, the way I do it and everybody does it different. And that's where a guillotine cutter like this one is super nice to have. Um, and so thank you, Robin, because it's been awesome to use that. And so you can see I just cut just a little bit off. Okay, so that's that for those. And then I also did another one of those little, or a couple of those little clusters off camera because we had already done some of them together on camera. And um, because this is going to Canada, I can't use the coffee dyed paper. So um, I probably could use tea, but I just don't chance it. I just use, I just decided to go with the colors instead. So if you'll remember, we did those little clusters. Let me see if I can find them. Oh, this upside down. So see these little clusters here? I went ahead and did one in, I think it's this one. Yeah, I did that. And then on this side, 
it's this one here. Okay, so I did those off camera, but I didn't figure that was a big deal. I want this one first, second, third, like that. So now they're all nice and, you know, tight and even in there. And then our journal will be like this. And that turned out really nice. I really like the way it came out. And then I will put that um, snippet on there once I stitch the signatures into it, okay? But for today, I thought we could play with some of these. Um, I was inspired by my collage that I did to use some of these and do some little geometric shapes again um, to kind of make... I don't know if you guys saw Gail Augustine, I'm sure you probably did, but anyway, she was doing kind of geometric clusters using her scraps. So I'm going to kind of do that same sort of thing, um, inspired by that one that I did with all the stitching. I just thought that that was super fun, and I thought it looked really cute, and it goes well with like, you know, these ladies here. And I don't know why, I cannot remember the name of that company, and I will try to. It's like Amy J Design, I believe, is what it is. I'll try to remember to link it. I know I forgot last time, so I apologize for that. I stink at that, so somebody reminded me, and I went ahead and sent them the link, so that they would have it. But I'm just going to kind of cut some shapes out of these. And I'm going to use the other side, so I don't really care what, where the lines are. I'm just kind of winging it. If you hear banging and crashing, it's because um, my husband and my son are, like, installing this antenna. And we finally got a table for the Glowforge. Hallelujah, everybody. Ay, 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 was that ever... We just went to a thrift store, just like I said, and found a great little table. And so, yes, I am very excited about that. And it was only $68, so score. I'll probably paint it black. It's kind of a cream color right, right now. It's a little bit weird, but um, it doesn't really go in here. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> I am thrilled because the Glowforge is off the floor. <laughs> and another thing I need to address is this week we're having our windows done. New windows put in this room only. But um, So I won't... They're going to do it Friday, so probably Thursday and Friday there won't be a um, video. I can't believe this won't even cut this. I know. I need to stop trying. <laughs> this, I need to just toss this thing, I think. I've tried to fix it, but it just doesn't work. Yeah, that's all nice and chewed up. Let me grab a different hole punch here. Let's see if I've got one that I can get to work. But yeah, so um, we'll be having that done. So, yeah, that one works a little bit better. It's still kind of tearing it a little bit. And it sticks. This is older than dirt. It's creating memories. I don't know if you all ever got involved in that, but. I mean, these were great tools. I had a lot of luck with, I think this is just you know, it's been used up, basically, is what it comes down to. Mm, come on, you. So, yeah. So, my husband, instead of venting out the windows, because we noticed that um, it's kind of an eyesore, you know, with the vent. And it's the front of our house. If it wasn't the front of the house, it wouldn't be as big a deal. But um, the vent thing that has to stay in the window, it's kind of like an air conditioner type thing. Um... It just didn't look great and there was it's making kind of a mark on the screen just from the because I cut a lot of that black paper and so it's almost like a soot type of mark it's just the color because it doesn't get that hot but um yeah so I was like I don't think I want to get those new windows and then get it all gross with that so he went through the wall right in front of me through the attic and out the side. And then we did like the, almost like your dryer vent that we all have in our houses. That's what we ended up doing. So hallelujah, that is done. And so I can actually start, I haven't been able to print anything either on the Glowforge this weekend. I really haven't gotten anything done this weekend, to be honest. It's Sunday evening. 
Um, we just had lots of other things we were doing this weekend. So, um, yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of stuff done for my shop, but I will hopefully be able to work on that a little bit. Like I said, this week is kind of up in the air because I just don't know. I'm going to have to move a bunch of stuff out of here and everything will be all draped off and all that. So it's just not going to be very conducive to videos and whatnot. But as soon as I can, I will be back. <laughs> so I hope you guys had a good weekend and got some fun crafting in. I know I normally do my roll of the dice on Monday, but um, I was like, I really need to work on this journal because poor Cindy is never going to get it. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Uh, it's like going to take me an eon to finish this one. Just had lots of other things happening. And to be a little bit honest, my... Sometimes it's kind of like your mojo goes, you know, like you just sort of, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just want to do the easiest thing. And then I got totally into the collage too, which has been using up a lot of my time. And I wanted to get that digi done. So yeah, there's just been, oops, that wasn't a very good cut there. Oh well. Um, yeah, so not the best with getting this journal done. So I apologize, Cindy. Usually a little bit faster, not a ton maybe, but a little bit. So yeah, I have no, I, no idea. I might try to do three of these, just so there's one for each signature, you know, just so you've got that variety there. <clears throat> Would be fun. This is three, it's already three by three. Do I want to do another corner thing? The boys have been working on that all day. My goodness, between the vent and the antenna. Yeah, we've pretty much gone to no cable whatsoever. We just do an antenna now, and it works great. So I would highly recommend it because we don't watch a ton of TV anyway. Like we'll watch a few shows or we watch shows on Netflix or whatever. So like there's really just no point in paying for cable. We weren't watching 90% of what we were paying for. So we just said turn it off and go this route. And I, I like it just fine because like I said, I watch some YouTube. That's about the extent. Um, and then like I watch a few shows on Netflix with my husband. So other than that, I really don't watch any TV. <clears throat> So it was just a waste of money. I can use that little strip. That's still a rectangle, right? Um, I think we might be good for now. I can, uh, maybe I'll do a few quick squares because I don't think I did a whole lot of that. I know this is super exciting to sit and watch me cut this stuff, but uh, I guess if we're doing process, this is all part of it. All right. Of course, fast forward if it's driving you nuts. <laughs> That's always an option. That one's a little bit bigger, but oh no, it's not. That works. And then this one, I think I'll do like a rectangle. Maybe there or something. All right, that'll be good for now. We'll see what we get. <clears throat> My cats are fascinated by this table that we got. I don't know why it's so interesting, but they are just laying under it and climbing around on it and then I have these out of an old like home ec class or you know what I mean like some type of sewing class and I thought if you sliced them here they'd make good tags so I might do some of that too today depending on how far we get with this whole rigmarole here I think I'm going to use glue instead of stapling because I want to run a uh, stitch through them. So basically I'm just going to kind of make them and then, and maybe we'll decorate a couple just to kind of
kind of see what we get. I don't know why. Um, well, part of it was because the collage called for geometric shapes, and so that's kind of what started all that. But I really like the way it looks with these, the stuff. So I just thought, you know, I'm going to do some for the journal. So, and I'm going to put some other stuff on them too. I don't want them just by themselves. Oh, you know what I do need to do is ink them a little bit. Sorry, this is going to be a real bugaboo for you guys. Try to be quick and not do tons. Just like get a little ink on them just because they look so, wow. You could ink them after. I know that's um, the way Gal does that too. That's totally your prerogative there. Okay, so I do like, I did like that. Where did I have this top or bottom? I don't know. It doesn't matter doesn't matter. We're just gonna try to wing them together a little bit and I don't have to have tons of glue because I'm gonna go ahead and now they're listening to music down in the garage so you might be able to hear dunk, dunk, you know that sound because <laughs> I think my husband was gonna clean up the garage a little bit got a little thrashed with. He can get to our attic um, from the garage so climbing in and out of there and throwing things through the hole and you know you know how it is y'all know what I'm talking about so yeah they worked yeah well, they well I helped but sometimes I'm more in the way than help so seeing something like that and then on the journal page it'll be like um, this one isn't the best is it I need to put a rectangle behind it first. Yes, I forgot about that part because the corner, <laughs> the point there is not super grand with the... Uh, hmm. I need some more rectangles. Let me cut some of those. Sorry, I did not think that through very well. I was thinking I was all set to go and then realized I'm really not. We'll just use some scissors to get these. I just kind of want... I better use my cutter. I won't cut that straight. I know it. If it was a small cut, yeah, but I'm just not very good with that. I'm going to cut those at just gonna go with two and then that can go sort of like that. And you'll, I'm sure you already get it, but if you don't get it, you'll understand why I did that in a minute. But these colors are just super bright and happy, and I'm kind of going for that sort of thing in this journal. Because it's got a lot of, like, faux fabric and stuff that's um, bright colors. I think it's going to have to come off a little bit. Like that. So I want to go ahead and make it fun colored. I want the point to hang off a whole lot. Okay, so then uh, when I put it on my page, <laughs> now I can show you. I mean, I could have put it on there the way it was. It just wouldn't have been quite as stable because I want to make it into a tuck so that you can tuck stuff in behind it. Wherever you put it on the page, you could tuck up, tuck in the side if it's more here. I think I'm going to go there, that kind of thing. So, put one of our little ladies on. Amy J Designs is what I believe it is. I linked it on that first video I did with the little... Uh, clusters that are on the pages that we glued onto the pages and then I spaced it the next time I used them. So those are just kind of fun. We could also Did I put that other one away. I found my stitch, my sewing stitch and now I bet I lost it again. That's what I do. 
I kept it out, but I don't see it out now, so oh, there it is. I put it away. So we could put some of this kind of stuff on here too, just for a little added interest. So see, this is why I can never get very many done, because I get completely sidetracked with what else I want to add to it. Gail and like Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah, they're much better at the mask making thing. I just stink at it. Because all I want to do is finish whatever it is I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, I am going to stitch through this too and then I'll give it more, but it's just kind of fun to add some little extras to it. Because my stitch in the and my sewing machine is the cream color. I can't do a straight line, even on that. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> <sighs> I'm telling you. I might put a little of this too, just to kind of tone it down a tiny bit. That'd be good. Was not good. I guess I'll just put it on however it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm gonna put that girl there. So, lady, I guess not really girl. Mm, is that that? Yeah. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I turned that over, but it's the same <laughs> which direction. It just says stamping up at the bottom so it makes me think it, that needs to be the bottom okay I don't know if I want to put one of those buttons I don't think so I think I'm good with that and I'll stitch it um I think I'll use this sorry I'm very indecisive today I think I'm just tired because like I said we're I don't normally craft I usually craft first thing in the morning and then you know most of the day depending on what I need to get done um, I rarely craft in the evening because my brain just kind of goes bye-bye. Even worse than normal, if you can imagine that. So, I know a lot of people craft really late at night. And I wish I could do that. But even if I wake up, I can't. Creativity just isn't there. It just is like, nope, not happening. So, all right, now the next one. What should we do? And I got these three by five cards at the dollar store. I mentioned that in the collage video, but some of you may not have seen that or whatever. So that's where I got those. And they're super fun. I'm probably gonna have to go back and get some more. Um, I need like, yeah, green would be good, huh? The green ones, this one's all wonky because my punches I know everybody just keeps saying just buy a new circle punch yes I know <laughs> I just never seem to take the time to do that I forget when I go away from here so yeah that's the problem I definitely can do that I just keep forgetting I have that other uh, circle cutter too from Creative Memories that I really love with the little plastic pieces and you use the little blade to cut. I really love that set. It's a great set. I might actually hang it down a little bit just so it's got a little more, I don't know, something going on. Because we kind of got the two yeah, we're, I am right above the garage, so I apologize if you can hear that music beat. I think they're watching some show or something, and it's literally right below me, so I apologize for that. But I can't really complain because they're cleaning up their mess, so that's good. I 
How did I have that? Which I hate it when you like forget within two milliseconds. I do that quite often. already are gluey and inky and I keep getting it on there. Yeesh. That's fun. Super fun. Just bright and happy. I like it a lot. This thing's kind of cool but it's a little bit big, huh? Yeah. It's a ad that I got in one of those is a work basket. These, I love these things. They're great. Look how dark it's down here. I feel like I'm using all those same ones, but I don't have a whole lot in the those little ladies. And since my computer, oh, that's the other thing. My computer's gone <laughs> because um, we got that table and took it all out trying to switch over to an iPad for everything, but I am not completely good at that yet. So, I mean, I can get my computer hooked back up. It's just, haven't yet. Probably be okay. The only thing that I'm concerned by is um, this edge. It's so thin right there. So I'm almost wondering if I want to do. Something like that. Hmm. I mean, I don't think it's horrible, it's just not great. Maybe if it came down lower. Yeah, that would be better. So it's gonna be more like this type of thing. And then this can go on. And this is just a piece of those um, pattern instructions on regular, whatever that, you know, paper is. It's not the sewing tissue. It's the, just the pattern instructions. Strings all stuck to my stuff here. even further that way. What else could we put on there? Maybe a little piece of fabric would work. Let's see what I've got here. I have part of this old, like it's a quilt that I was telling you guys about that I don't love the color combinations. And I know that's the whole idea. It's like a crazy quilt, but um, sometimes I just can't with some of those. <laughs> like I've tried to make a cover. It just is no, no work for me so just couldn't do it but I like you know some of the fabrics individually just don't love them all together is that one better with the yellow it's even kind of geometric triangular I'm gonna end up covering that Salvage thing. And this that doesn't have much color this way. That would work. Let's do that one. So yeah, these these I think will be fun, and I think these would be great additions to journals I don't know what they're doing now opening the garage door 
<laughs> or I guess it was closing it. It was open already. Maybe they're finally done. It's been all a day and all. Well, we did go to lunch with my mother and father-in-law. That was fun. It's my father-in-law's birthday. So, yeah, that was super fun. Good to see them. They're both getting their COVID shots done. So that's good. They're going to actually go on vacation, which lucky them, right? Going to Hawaii. So that will be fun. They're like, even if we just go sit on the beach with nobody else. <laughs> like, yes, I understand that. Very true. The ocean is calling. And I get that. Even though I hardly ever get there, I do love it. Um, maybe I just want a little bit across here. You guys can see, I think so. Yeah, like that. So there's another one. So we'll do one more for our third little book there. Do I have any? I don't. I'm going to cut a blue one. <clears throat> I've got all those other pieces cut. I don't know why I did that. I probably should just cut as I went, but like always, I have to do it the difficult way or the roundabout way, I guess. I hope you like these crazy colors, Cindy. <laughs> <clears throat> Never know what you're going to get when you say, oh, I'll take that journal that you're making. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't think I want to do the same thing I did on that other one. That would be sort of boring, right? Maybe it could go that way. With a pink square. Um, a yellow circle. Yeah, so we'll finish this one. I'll stitch them and then come back and show you what they look like. I mean, I'm sure you get the idea since I made that one in that collage, but I thought they would be fun to add to journals. And they're very happy springy, so you could definitely, you know, use them with flowers or whatever you don't have to do the sewing thing you can do any theme that you like and you don't have to stitch them either you could even draw those little lines like these with a black pen too if you don't have a stamp like that oops what did I do that for I'm a dope. but yeah so there's lots of things if you didn't want to sew you could definitely still do these just fine because it's not that I have to sew them, I just, I just like that look. But I get it, because when I first started, I didn't have a sewing machine either when I first started making journals. And um, I asked my mother and father-in-law, and they very kindly got me a singer, the Heavy Duty Singer on, it was just on Amazon. And they're really actually pretty reasonably priced. So, and that was awesome of them to get that as a gift for me. But some people just don't like doing it either, or don't want to do, don't want to deal with the sewing machine, which I get. Sometimes they're a headache, but I just like the look, so I do it quite often. I don't know if I want that piece or a different piece. I was gonna put it like that, and then I stuck that yellow in there. 
let's see what we put on it first and then we'll decide yeah I can't even print out any of my other <laughs> like my digis and stuff right now so we can put them on my iPad but I am a newbie at that whole thing well, I guess I don't really want to say bra front, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I just, let's not. <laughs> I don't know. Cindy probably doesn't just want to write in her journal like that. Okay. Wrinkled that a little bit, so that's fun. And then what else could we put there? I have just a mess of all kinds of sewing things over here. She's pretty with the kind of purple on. That's very, that's fun. And I haven't used one in the skinny dress yet. And do we have any other pieces of pattern? These things. I like all the how many yards you need and all that. Numbers. I'm sure you're all shocked. Could go kind of up like that. Needs to be taken down a notch. It's a little shiny. And you don't have to ink either. I just prefer it that way. But I know like Rachel doesn't ink. Not everybody inks. It's just what I like. But um. You know, you just got to do what you like. And again, no rules, which is awesome. It's not like you have to do it the way everybody else is doing it. You could use colored inks, too, instead of the, you know, like the vintage photo or whatever. And that would work great. I know I have those colored ones and I hardly ever use them. I just am stuck on that vintage photo. I just really like that. That's my favorite one. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go stitch around these and then we will see where we get. I'll be right back. All right, so this is what we got all stitched around. Hard for me to tell now because I'm trying to look through my phone and it's a little bit tricky. So where these will go is anybody's guess, right? Um, well, actually, it looks pretty good there because of the yellow. So I think I'll go ahead and put that one there. The yellow and the pink and just blop, big old drop. And I'm going to leave the rest not because that way you can tuck something into it. Hopefully it will stay pretty good. It should down pretty tight and if you wanted to you had something specific you tucked in there you could add a little glue down here or something too if if you knew the size but since I'm not sure about that I'm just gonna go ahead and go with that 
And then, let's see, maybe we'll go from the back on this one just to make sure we got our variety. She would be cute there. I think with that, is this one better? Maybe that one's better, huh? With the colors. And I know I'm doing them in the same spot. You don't have to do that though. You can put them up higher, lower, you know, whatever you want to do. This is just, oh, please tell me I didn't get that on there. Oh, hallelujah. Leave that stamp with the black ink just sitting there like a dingling. Okay, and then so see, you can just do this kind of thing. And it'll hold a little, a little something for you. Oh, I did add um, stamping to that. You guys were probably yelling at me. I did do the stamping down here and the button off screen because I went over there to sew and was like, it's missing something. <laughs> it was the stamping. This is just um, a copy of like uh, coffee dye, tea dye, whatever you want to say. It's mm, a little much, much on the yellow. I don't know if we should go in a plainer spot or oh, that'd be kind of a good one with the pink, huh? So I'm just trying to put them in different spots. So it's, I mean, because they are very similar, obviously, but. And what I might also add just for fun and also to help hold whatever you put in there is a bright colored. Um, Paper clip. And don't have to do this. It's just gonna help hold whatever's in there in there. Plus it's just fun. I should have done that. But I didn't think of it until just now. So put a yellow one. And that will help hold whatever you tuck. In there. Where did I put that one? Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> that's something you need to check. Oh my goodness, I hope I didn't glue any of those on an upside down slot. Oh, okay, it won't be a big deal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's something to think about. I need to fix those so I don't mess up. Um, when I took them out to cut the edges, I obviously want a blue one. Um, didn't turn those right side up again so that's something you always got to be aware of okay so that is where we're at for today so I hope you guys enjoyed that I hope that that wasn't too boring watching me do essentially the same thing I did for the collage but um just a thought to have them also in your journal so we will chat again soon love you guys talk later bye bye